Hey, let's talk some UTR, something Tennis Channel has been utilizing in the 2018 tennis season as we look ahead to tomorrow's matches. So this is the universal tennis rating. The key thing to remember, it takes into account the quality of one's opponent, recent plays such as the last 30 matches, how you perform, etc. So tomorrow we've got Gasquet versus Zoomer. And so Gasquet, he, his ranking is 33, but he has a UTR of 18, while Zoomer, 18, uh, UT, UTR ranking of 18. I'm going to get this down. This is a little complicated. Yeah. And Zoomer has a lower UTR ranking, but his actual ranking is higher. That was confusing. Yeah, well, what are your thoughts? Well, the ranking system is the last 52 weeks. UTR is the last 30 matches. The UTR has a rating and also a ranking. And so for Gasquet, he's played well these last few months, these last 30 matches, and that's why his UTR is much higher than his ATP ranking. At some point, it'll start to even out as those results come up if he plays as well as his UTR ranking or rating. Um, but it was interesting. We were following it so closely at the Australian Open, and it was a good indicator of a player and their form currently, not their form 11 months ago or 10 months ago where a player might have acquired a lot of ranking points, but how they have played the last few months. First of all, that's a sick explanation. That was incredible. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, that was so smooth very, uh, and very well thought out, simple and clean. Um, <laughs> What's interesting is before that, when Lindsay was vacationing and we were here before the Australian <laughs> Open, we had shown on the UTR Chung. We had been talking about Chung and his UTR and Edmund, how it was higher than their rankings and really foreshadowed their success. Yeah. So it's really been an incredible indicator uh, thus far. I would have loved the UTR being around when I was playing because I did an unbelievable job of losing close matches to good players. <laughs> yeah, and you'd still get credit for exactly. it. Exactly. I wanted some credit you as opposed to the nightmares fun. and the what scar tissue I still have. You were the number one between 12 I, and 18. I, I, How much no, I mean, when it mattered, when you get paid, is when I would have okay, preferred okay, it. But enough. I would have had a much better UTR. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna. Can we retroactively use it and apply oh, those probably, metrics? Probably. The good days are gone. The good days are gone. Uh, <laughs> we also have Sanga and Rublev. So Sanga's UTR is 11. Rublev's is at 17. Yep. This one should be pretty good as well. Yeah. Once right, again, guys? that shows that Rublev's ranking isn't as high. But if you look at the past period where he got, where he won his first tournament in Umag yep. as a lucky loser, got to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open. You know, it's had a lot of very good results. Um, he played well at the Australian. He's beaten a lot of top players. It really gives credit to strength of schedule and losing close matches. And then you see the upside with Sanga. Same thing. His ranking might not be as high, but he's still one of those guys who could win the big events and is still very dangerous. And the UTR accurately reflects that. You know what? I'm going to reach out for UTR, see if we can do something for you. Retroactive. I want UTR credit <laughs> retroactively to over a decade. Wonder if we can do that to mine. I need a lot of help. All right, that's it for us. I'm Justin Lindsay. I'm Prim. We'll see you guys tomorrow.